with Elon Musk potentially taking over Twitter in a matter of days, it will have an impact on the midterms, which brings me to this next story. Oh boy. I love it. From the Hill, <laughs> Pelosi predicts Democrats will keep the House after November's midterms. She actually said it was going to be a landslide. Huh. She oh, said, come uh, on. Yeah, she said, uh, oh, yeah. we will hold the House by winning more seats. She's saying <laughs> that Roe v. Wade is going to result in the Democrats actually winning. Hey, man, I think it's an important story to talk about because we're about a month away and uh, hubris will be your downfall. Considering Elon Musk making this move has them so worried, maybe that's actually a sign they're not going to win. A month out, early voting is beginning to start, mail-in voting, uh, votes are, ballots are going out. Elon, let's say Elon takes over. And let's say this time next week, Donald Trump is back on the platform. Is that good or bad? Will that help Democrats or hurt them in the midterms? <laughs> what do you guys think? I think Elon Musk taking over Twitter will help the Republicans in the midterms. But if Donald Trump comes back, I think that hurts the Republicans. Mm. I think if Trump comes back on Twitter, it's going to hurt him. Yeah. Because the only thing Democrats have to campaign on is hating Donald Trump. Trump. Trump, Trump yeah. They tried to do it in uh, Virginia with Terry McAuliffe. All of the ads and Terry McAuliffe just kept repeating Glenn Youngkin is Trump. Glenn Youngkin is Trump. <laughs> and that's like all he had. It was just I, I remember um, someone put together a compilation video. It was just. Trump, 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 Trump. That's all Terry McAuliffe would say. So yeah, I think uh, that that does hurt overall, um, not in all places, the Republicans. In the way that it falls with the midterms after uh, taking the House and taking the Senate, it's statistically improbable that they're going to keep the House. It's just the way history has showed it. I want to read this email that I got from Nancy Pelosi because I was added to a mailing list. Oh, boy. Oh, all she right. emailed you. Huh? Yes, nice, Nancy yeah. Pelosi emailed me. And she titled the email, Honestly. Oh. Oh. I told you my September 30th deadline was the biggest of the year. I told you we failed to meet our goal for the first time ever. So today I'm asking you one final time, will you please chip in $15 before midnight to help me finally meet my goal so that we have the resources to close out strong and expand our Wait, hi I, I, historic I, majorities. I thought she had a, so much confidence in that this was gonna be a landslide victory. Oh, they were gonna gain seats. I'll be honest. We have two options. Oh boy. One, either we let the Republicans win, capitalized, the fundraising <laughs> battle, flood, capitalized, oh boy. our vulnerable Democrats with expensive attacks and barge their way back in the power. Oh my God. Or, or we step up, we regain the fundraising edge and stop Republicans' momentum in its track. Isn't the Democratic Party funding a bunch of the Trump candidates in yes. some states? Yes, they are, dollars? because they, it's, they're they doing what Hillary Clinton did that screwed up. Some of those places. Hillary yeah, Clinton yeah, had yeah. called Trump the Pied Piper. It yeah. was a Pied Piper candidate. We're going <laughs> to amplify him and, you know, it's it's we're going to take him out. So they're they're using the same strategy because they don't learn. So uh, they're, they're amplifying. They're like, yeah, you know what? This works so well for Hillary. Let's do it in all the states. So they're amplifying the Trump candidates and, you know, because they were going to be easier to beat. I mean, look, the, the 538 polling average, the Real Clear Politics polling average, both have both predict the Republicans to gain seats, right, according to the most yes. recent ones. And um, I think Republicans typically underperform on the polls. So I think uh, it looks pretty great. Carrie, we're going to have Carrie Lake in Arizona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I love her. She's up by, like, what, two points overall in the polls. So I like so, to see uh, the states getting stronger. 